Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition for Thursday, the 11th of October. I'm James Spann. Alabama's weather calmer today, turning cooler with a good north wind on the backside of Hurricane Michael that's moving away. We've got the coolest air so far this season coming in here. Fall fans ought to be happy. Let's take a look. Big trough in the western states is finally getting close. And that is the system responsible for kicking Michael out to the northeast. Now, we're in the 70s this morning. But notice St. Louis at 51, Tulsa at 45. We'll see numbers like that here tomorrow morning. And we're expecting temperatures to stay in the 70s all day today with a pretty good north wind of 12 to 22 miles an hour. And any lingering clouds this morning go away. The sky becomes sunny today. And we're seeing teens and 20s back in the cold air across the northern plains. And again, that'll settle in here. So our 80s are gone for a while. Here's the uh, watch warning map. We've still got... Uh, Tropical storm warnings for parts of Georgia and the Carolinas, flash flood watches up into New England, and freeze warnings in effect for parts of the Corn Belt, where their growing season is over for the year. Still the risk of a few tornadoes on the Middle Atlantic coast today with Michael. Of course, we're dry here. Here's the rain for the next seven days. Better totals from Texas across parts of the uh, Ohio Valley up into the northeast. Not much around here. Uh, this is suggesting less than one half inch for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, Gadsden. Nothing for southeast Alabama. When they need a chance to dry out after Michael's passage. But we will see some rain in here, I think, early next week, which we'll see in just a minute. Uh, tropics, uh, Michael, still a tropical storm. We've still got Leslie and Nadine. And a low is expected to form down in the Caribbean. The Hurricane Center giving this a moderate chance of developing as it moves over towards Central America or Belize or the Yucatan. And we'll just kind of keep an eye on that. In terms of our named systems, this is Leslie. Again, this thing might be out there at Christmas. It's been around for a long time, but it's out there in the eastern Atlantic meandering about. Uh, Nadine, not moving much at all, should weaken to a depression over the weekend. And Michael, a tropical storm winds are 50 miles per hour. This will come out into the Atlantic and things headed over toward Ireland by early next week. It's going to move out of here in a hurry as it gets hung up in the mid-latitude westerlies. All right, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid this afternoon at 1. Troughing approaching from the west. Michael over North Carolina. A tight gradient here, windy, cool, mostly sunny highs, mid-70s, basically where we are right now. But the humidity, the dew points will be dropping steadily throughout the day. Tomorrow, we start the day in the 40s, somewhere between 46 and 49. The high will be in the low 70s, a bright, sunny day. Should be beautiful. Saturday, same deal. The sky mostly sunny. The high in the mid-70s, perfect for football weather. Anything else got going on? Race weekend? Homecoming, the University of Alabama. We'll go to Sunday, and the day should be dry. Still looks good for uh, the big race at Talladega. A little warmer. We might touch 80 on Sunday. And notice the showers to the west with that next disturbance. And this is Sunday night. Rain creeps into North Alabama. And Monday, the uh, GFS is suggesting that this front will kind of stall out, waiting on the next wave coming in. Kind of a different look than we have seen. So Monday, we'll mention a chance of showers. And Tuesday still looks kind of wet here with showers likely. And then Wednesday, we get into a new surge of dry air with highs dropping in the 60s if this verifies. And a week from today, big trough up in Canada. Zonal flow here. A cool, dry air mass. 40s in the morning, 70s during the day. Just gorgeous. We'll go out 10 days. This is Saturday, October 20th. Zonal flow and again, a very dry air mass. Here are the numbers coming off the GFS Ensemble. We'll be in the 70s for a while. Again, we might touch 80 on Sunday, but then look at the highs in the 60s by the middle of next week. And there might be a morning in there next week where some of the colder pockets, maybe Thursday morning in North Alabama, make a run for the 30s. 
So the a little late season heat wave is is over. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.